Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how we can convert the value, the date value from yyyymmdd into the date time in SQL Server using SSIS. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is that how can we convert a value to date time in SSIS. So let's jump to the demo. In my D files location, I got a employee.csv file. So if I open this particular CSV file in a text editor, so you can see that it contains the person's ID, first name, last name, email and the date of joining and if you see the date of joining so the value is in the yymmdd format and this is also like yyymmdd and some values are missing as well like this value is missing, the this value is missing and the last value is missing. So what I want to do is that I want to import this particular data into a SQL server table and for the date of joining the destination column will be of date time so let's see how we can import this data and let's see how we can convert the data and convert the value into the date time format for the date of joining okay so this is my blank SSIS package that I will be using today and this is my SQL server instance so I will be creating a table here in the school database because you want to migrate the data so you'll be using the data flow task here so I can just drag and drop the data flow task into control flow window and then I can select the uh, flat file source to read the data from a CSV file. So I can just drag and drop the flat file source into the data flow task and now let's configure the flat file source here. We need to make a connection to the CSV file. So I can simply browse the CSV file. So from the file type I can select the CSV file, open. Now I can click on preview. So the data looks good here. The date is coming in yyyymmdd format so I can click ok ok and now to insert the data into the SQL server table we can use the OLEDB destination here and then connect the flat file source with the OLEDB destination and then we can configure the OLEDB destination here. Now we can click new to create a new OLEDB connection manager so there is already a connection manager here so I can use that connection manager. From data access mode I can change it to table or view fast load so that it can do the bulk insert and then I can just uncheck this table lock and check constant and click new to create a new table here. So I can give my table name here and maybe I can give the table name as employee and uh, the data type for the ID I can give integer because in the flat file the ID is in the integer format like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and uh, for the first name, last name, email I can leave the data type as varchar 50 as it is and for date of joining I can change the data type to date time here ok so I can click ok the employee table got created now I can click on mappings to make sure that all input columns have been mapped with the destination columns and then I can click ok so now if I execute the package right now without any change then the package will fail because it will fail to convert the uh, year of joining column uh, from the varchar into the date time column so you can see that the process got failed and if I go to the output window so it got filled on the date of joining column and it got filled on the invalid character value for cast specification so it is unable to convert the data from the worker into the date time so even if I use the data conversion transformation here and I try to convert the uh, date of joining from worker to date time then it will fail so let I can show you the data conversion transformation here and select the date of joining column here okay and let me try to change the data type from varchar to maybe like database date ok and let me click on ok and then let me try to use that the copy of date of joining column ok and I can show you so it will make no difference and the process will still fail ok so the only way to fix it if we can change the uh, you know the date values from yyyymmdd to yyyy hyphen mm hyphen dd okay so if we can change it only then it will be fixed so if i right now add a data viewer here okay and if i try to run the ssis package so you can see the value of the date column so you can see it is like yyyy mm dd so we just need to put hyphen between the year and month and between the month and the date okay so that's how it can uh, you know fix the date column here so I choose the option here you know uh, database date and I can show you other options as well like there is a dt underscore date so I can select this option as well 
and it won't make any difference and the process will still fail okay so i'm just trying to show you so you know this is the date column and i can close this one so you can see that it again got filled here okay so this is making no difference the data conversion is making no difference here and it is filling on the copy of date of joining and the error message says the the value could not be converted because of a potential loss of data okay so this is failing so what i can do here i can remove the data conversion transformation and i can use the derived column transformation here okay so let me configure the derived column transformation here okay so we just need to put a hyphen between the year and month and between the month and the date okay so we can use the substring function here so i can just use the substring function i can just drag and drop the substring function here and uh, in place of this character expression i can just use the date of joining column okay so first i need to get the value of the year so year is started at the very first place so because the value started from the year and month and the date so at the very first point we have the year so i need to get the year from the very first character and the length of the year is 4 okay and then i can use the plus sign to concatenate two string and then i can put the double quotes hyphen double quotes so this is how i'm just concatenating the hyphen here plus now i want to get the month part so i can just simply copy and paste the existing code and now i want to read the uh, character at the fifth place and i just want two characters so this will be the month and then i need the date part okay so i can now concatenate the hyphen again here okay and now i can just copy the value of the month and i can just change it for the day so the day start from the seven position and i need only the two characters from here so this is how i can just get the value of the uh, you know date in yyyy hyphen mm hyphen dd format okay so this will work great if we have value for the date for all the records but if you see here in our case for some of the records the value of the uh, you know date of joining is blank for example for this scenario and this scenario so what we should do we should check the length of this particular column date of joining and if the length of the date of joining is 8 then we can use the substring function to you know just modify the date into the proper format and in case if the length of the date of joining is not 8 then we can put the value null in that scenario okay that should work so now uh, we can use a case statement here so how the casing statement works in the expression okay so first we can check the length of the date of joining so to check the length we have a len function so i can just drag and drop the len function here okay and then i can just drag and drop the date of joining here so i just want to check the length and if it is equal to 8 okay in that particular scenario i want to use this particular you know value otherwise what i want to do i just want to use a null value okay so how we can put a null value so if you go to the null function so there is a function here null dt wstr length okay so i can just put a length maybe 20 here okay so in case of an invalid date we will put null value so that the final code and i can share this code with you so that maybe you can use it in your environment as well and i will call the new column is doj date of joining okay so i can click on okay and now i can close this particular um, csv file and i can connect the derived column with the oledb destination and i can just click on resolve references and uh, i can just delete the copy of date of joining column and i can click on okay now i can go to oledb destination and i can just map the column to doj and i can click on okay i can put a data viewer here just to show you like what was the date earlier and after the derived column what will be the new date so i can just execute the ssis package and it can show you the data so the process is started working so this was the date earlier and then this is the new date doj and this was the you know previous date and this is the correct date in case of the you know a blank string we are using the null because you cannot put a blank string into the date column either there should be some date or date can be a null value if the column is nullable so i think the doj looks fine so i can close this one and the data got inserted correctly into the destination table so i can just check the destination database and uh, 
I can open the employee table and I can try to find the data from that particular table. So data got inserted correctly into the destination table. Yeah, so this, this is one of the way, you know, uh, to convert the date into the proper format. And you can also use the script component here. But I think uh, right column is a better option <laughs> in place instead of the script component because sometimes we got some complexities while deploying the you know SSIS packages if they are having the script component. So I think uh, if we can have do the same thing using the drive column. So I think that's a better option. And I will share the uh, source table uh, and the you know expression for you know uh, converting the data into the date format. Yeah, so I think that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please hit the like button. Do subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.